there and welcome. Hello there. Hello there. Hello there. Hello and welcome to the County Islands Ring Junction in Swindon. You might know it as the Magic Roundabout and it was the first of its type to be built in the UK. It comprises a roundabout surrounded by five smaller roundabouts and it's located between the A4312 and A4289. Today I'll be telling the story of how this roundabout came to be and it starts in the 1960s with a traffic and congestion problem. Back then the Magic Roundabout was not very magic at all and was simply a roundabout where five roads connected and it was known as the Drove Road Roundabout. In the early days of motoring, this roundabout would have been fine, but as car ownership grew, so did the levels of traffic, and by the 1960s, the ordinary roundabout was struggling to keep up with demand and had reached its saturation point of 5,100 vehicles per hour. This capacity needed to be increased, so naturally they set about beginning on an ambitious road-building project. In the 1960s, it was all about flyovers and massive dual carriageways, and the first plans drawn up for the Drove Road roundabout involved the construction of a flyover between Queen's Drive and Fleming Way, with a spur or slip road connecting to County Road. Sure, some houses would have been demolished in the process, but it was the 1960s when they didn't give a shit. However, when the plans were put forward, it was rejected. But not because of the loss of people's homes, it was because somebody wanted to try something a bit new and different. As the 60s was drawing to a close and plans were still being worked on for the Drove Road roundabout, about an organization called the Road Research Laboratories had been experimenting with new roundabout designs, specifically mini roundabouts with central islands. The Road Research Labs would later be known as the Transport Research Laboratories. Maybe you'll like this video. These new roundabout designs and concepts had shown to increase capacity by around 30% in testing, and with such promising results, it was decided to take the theories onto the road for real world testing and implementation. But first, they needed a guinea pig Birmingham. Except Birmingham didn't have the money to pay for it, so Swindon. The Drove Road roundabout, with it being crap and due for redevelopment, was chosen as the place to install and test a new roundabout layout with any previous flyover plans being simply ignored. So in 1971, they tarmacked the area, set up a few cones and began a series of tests on the general public, revealing that the roundabout design worked very well indeed. So with that success, they made it a permanent feature, completing Swindon's County Islands Ring Junction in 1972. Let's take a look at how it works. What you've got is a centralized island or roundabout surrounded by five smaller roundabouts and islands for traffic separation. Unlike a normal roundabout, you can travel in both directions, which opens up many more routing options. For example, if it were a standard roundabout, to go from County Road to Fleming Way, you'd need to go all the way around the roundabout and get in everyone's way. With the magic layout, you'd go this way, meaning you're on the roundabout for a shorter distance and time, which is exactly what you want when trying to keep traffic moving. And generally speaking, the design works. Whilst you aren't moving particularly quickly, you tend to get better traffic flow, so you aren't really sat around for any length of time, which is unlike a normal roundabout where the traffic moves in bursts or a stop-start sort of way. The only downside of such designs is that it increases the number of opportunities for traffic to come into contact with one another, but actually whilst you think that this would lead to more accidents, that may not be the case because generally the traffic moves through the roundabout at a slower pace, allowing drivers to avoid collisions. For the most part, anyway, there's always one dickhead that spoils it for the rest of us. As for the name, you may have noticed earlier I refer to the roundabout as the County Islands Ring Junction. This was the official name given to the junction or roundabout way back in the 1960s during the planning stages. This name would remain until the late 1980s, at which point it was changed to the Magic Roundabout. It's not clear as to the exact reasons why, but one possibility is that the Magic Roundabout name was first used in the media where they described the roundabout as being just like Zebedee in the Magic Roundabout. My YouTube analytics suggest I don't need to explain to the majority of you what the Magic Roundabout was, but in case you fall outside of a certain demographic, the Magic Roundabout was a children's television show that aired between 1965 and 1977, with many reruns being shown over later years. Looking back at it now, there were probably some very good drugs involved with its creation, but it was the 60s, right? Anyway, because because of that quote made in the media, County Islands was forever being referred to as the Magic Roundabout, despite this not being its official name, until it was. Does it work though? Well, mostly, yes. During rush hour it can be a bit of an issue, but overall it seems to have held up pretty well over the years. The challenge with 1970s infrastructure is that it was never really designed with today's traffic numbers in mind, so the fact that it's still doing okay is testament to the original design. However, there will come a point where it needs improving or replacing in some way, I don't know, maybe with a nice flyover. So Swindon's Magic roundabout, it's over 50 years old and still soldiering on dealing with the traffic like it always has. It's difficult to see how you can improve on this roundabout design other than replacing it completely. Love it or hate it, I suspect Swindon's magic roundabout will still be with us for some years yet. Thanks for watching. Right, who's for a cup of tea?